welcome to SearchMedia.com and SearchMedia.tv's evening news broadcast for October the 5th, 2009. I'm Judy Mackey. Friday, there was an armed robbery at Food Lion on Sadler Road on Amelia Island. This happened in the morning about 9.45, and the police are looking for a black male, 5'6 to 5'8 with a dark complexion, medium build, and 140 to 165 pounds. If you were in the Food Lion area and saw a beige uh, or tan car drive off, that's who they're looking for. Um, the firearm used was possibly a black handgun, and witnesses inside the store at the time of the robbery said the suspect may have short salt and pepper hair. If you know anything about this, please contact the local Fernandina Beach Police Department at the number shown right here. Well, this week is jazzing up the island. You know, Lester Merle and his wife Bonnie Eisel are at it again. The Amelia Island Jazz Festival, and this year is featuring David Sanborn. Go to www.ameliaislandjazzfestival.com for more information and their schedule of events for the next several days. There's a couple of great events going on tomorrow night, Tuesday, here in the Fernandina Beach area, out at Yuli at Chili's. They're having a Micah's Place fundraiser from 5 to 6 p.m. Come out to Chili's and have a ball. This is a family event, and it's to raise awareness for Domestic Awareness Month, which is the month of October. There's going to be pirates face painting, giveaways, coupons, and purchases made at Chili's. They will donate a percentage if you have your dinner there or get something to go. Uh, for more information, you can call 491 6364 extension 106, but this is from 5 to 6 tomorrow out at the Chili's in Yulee. Also on Tuesday night, there's a regularly scheduled city commissioner meeting. You can find the agenda here on searchamia.com later this evening, and the meeting is at 6 o'clock at 204 Ash Street in Fernandina Beach. Tomorrow and Wednesday, it's going to be slightly cloudy in the mornings with a 30-40% chance of rain in the afternoons. Highs will be in the mid-80s and lows will be in the mid-70s overnight. We need the rain, so don't frown too much about that. October in Florida, yes, it's still going to be 90 degrees later in the week. <music> Fernandina Beach High School lost to Bowles 65 to nothing. Hilliard won over Hamilton County 33 to 7. Yuli did not play last Friday night in high school football, but West Nassau beat University Christian 26 to 14. Well, I'm a little hoarse because I just got back from a mini vacation this past weekend, had a wonderful time, and it got me thinking. A buddy of mine had told me that um, life happens while you're making plans. So quit making plans, go on, enjoy life, live for today. One final piece of news, it's only 80 days until Christmas. I'm Judy Mackey, searchamedia.com, searchamedia.tv, evening news broadcast, October the 5th, 2009. Have yourself a great evening, and we'll see you again real soon.